What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Alex. We're back again. So, the Cleveland Cavaliers are willing to get Derrick Williams and Andrew Bogut. Well, I'm hearing a lot about Larry Sanders, but we'll get to that later. But um, I just want to talk about Derrick Williams for a second. Derrick Williams, I remember back in 2008, nine. He was considered as one of the best point guards in the league. Him and Chris Paul were like the top point guards in the league at the time. So now it's like, I know I understand that everybody think Derrick Williams is washed up. You know, he's outplayed. He's too old and stuff like that. But this is what LeBron wanted. LeBron wants a point guard, not only a point guard, but a playmaker that could run the offense, that could get the ball moving, that could actually space the floor. So that, you know, because we already know Kyrie, you know, I like Kyrie, but Kyrie is not really a playmaker. And I remember when they had Matthew Delanova, Delanova coming off the bench, you know, getting the ball moving, spacing the floor. He just craves from offense. But Kyrie, is, like I said, as much as I like Kyrie Irving, he's not really that guy, like a playmaker that you that you could rely on. So you had Delhi, but then, you know, Delhi. They didn't give him the money he wanted, so now he's on the Milwaukee Bucks. So now they don't have a playmaking point guard. This is what LeBron always wanted. He wanted a playmaking point guard, and that's what they got. You know, Derrick Williams. You know, like I said, I understand Derrick Williams washed up, but Derrick Williams could still play. Let's not, let's not, keep, let's not forget about Derrick Williams. He could still play. Derrick Williams is a good, decent point guard. He's a good, decent playmaker. He could create some offense. He get everybody involved. He get Kyrie involved. Because now, now you have their wheels down on your team. Um, now Kyrie could probably play shooting guard for all I know, and their wheels can run the point. And like I said, you know their wheels can get everybody involved. He can get the ball and stuff like that. And he could bring that, you know, that energy. He could bring that spark plug. See what I'm saying? So I think their wheels would be a great fit for the Cavaliers. And I heard the Jazz wanted him, but I think Derrick Williams at that age, he wants to win a championship. So why not play for the Cleveland Cavaliers and play with LeBron? And him and LeBron, you know, they, they used to be um they're great friends. Uh they I think they played in Team USA at one point. You know, they're great friends. So I'm, so the chemistry is still there. But I think Derrick Williams will be a good fit for the Cleveland Cavaliers. However, uh, um Andrew Bogut. I think Andrew Bogle would be pretty decent, though. You know, it's funny because the Warriors had him, and then the Mavericks, they got him for the Mavericks. Now, he's going to be playing for the enemy team, for the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's kind of like how Veragile, you know, he went to the Warriors, he played for that team. Now, Bogle is coming to the Cavaliers, but we don't know. You know, I'm hearing... Larry Sanders, I think Larry, I, to me, I think Larry Sanders would be a better fit because Larry Sanders could shoot, he could post up. I'm not saying Bogey can't do that, but I think I'd rather have Larry Sanders on the Cavaliers. I think he'll be he'll be a more better fit than uh, Andrew Bogan. I'm not saying Andrew Bogan would be good because either way, we're gonna have a big man. All right, we're gonna have a big man. We're gonna have we're gonna, we're gonna get our uh, Larry Sanders or Andrew Bogan. Either way, it doesn't really matter to me, but. In my opinion, I'd rather just have Larry Sanders. But um, like I said, you know, tomorrow they saying that the Cavaliers are willing to sign their Williams. So I don't know if they're gonna get rid of Kay Feller or Jordan McRae or um Lig uh, DeAndre Liggins. I don't know, but we'll see. But like I said, you know, the Cavs are saying they're gonna sign their Williams and they're outside Larry Sanders or Andrew Buck, but who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow? But um, this is your boy Alex, man. You think the Cavaliers are gonna really sign uh Larry Sanders or um Andrew Boyd? Let me know in the comment section. This is your boy Alex. This is.